So we passed the turn. All we did is make their doc not be able to quest. Their doc could sing, but it's not likely that they have song cards. They could not be our guest, but it's not likely. This is a villain's deck. It's Lemon Lime and it's got plenty of villains. Literally every character card is a villain and that's gonna be important because it synergizes with two of these cards with Queen of Hearts, which the ability all ways here are my ways. That was a tongue twister. Whenever this character quests, your other villain characters gets plus one lore this turn. So that synergizes with all of them. So if this thing quests, every other villain is gonna get plus one lore, which turns all these one lore questers into two lore questers, those threes into fours. And then the other synergy that it has is the big bad, the shift Hades, which is possible to pull off. <laughs> But not likely, so we got to get up there into the numbers. We got to get up to 80, but he, this Hades, he comes in the gift set. So maybe you've read him before. The Sinister Plot, this character gets plus one lore for each other villain character you have in play. So if you have two other villain characters, this guy questing for three. If you have four characters, which is unlikely, this character's questing for a bunch. So that's the idea with this deck. It does have quite a bit of uninkables. It's got 20 of them things. I think this deck is going to be pretty good in the new set when you have that item, the hidden ink caster that lets you ink your uninkables because 20 is quite a bit. That's one out of every three cards is going to be uninkable. This is what we learned in this video. Number one, Hades is cool late game. Number two, Hades isn't cool when you have no ink. And number three, 20 uninkable cards is high key, too many uninkables. Prepared against an emerald amethyst deck which is the bounce package that makes you draw so many cards. We do get the queen shift line, and that's a big dub. We don't need two Radigans, because we don't even know what one Radigan does. It's evasive and has big, big strength. We'll just keep one Radigan. We kind of want to draw her later. And yeah, we'll pass the, we'll confirm. So our one drops here, our shift two, we get a Lyle, everything's pretty chilling. We'll go ahead and get rid of our rat. Goodbye, rat. And welcome to the battlefield, the queen. And we pass the turn. We do have our shift queen ready to go. The only downside is that it has three willpower, which can be taken out pretty easily by a Rafiki or a rogue Madame Mim Fox or Madame Mim Snake. Any of those will take out our queen. So we're kind of hesitant. Oh, look at that. Hypnotize might be cool, but we're kind of low on the ink cards, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then shift our queen. They can't mem fox here, so we'll just quest for two. When we quest for two, that person gets weaker and we get super buff to go to eight strength. And then when we pass the turn, it goes back down to four. That's her ability. Whenever this character quests, the chosen opposing character gets negative four strength this turn, and chosen character gets four strength this turn. They do a song check, but guess what? We ain't got no songs, buddy. Who are you calling buddy, guy? Do we make their Maleficent reckless? I don't think so. Do we go ahead and trade here? Their thing is common. The Mim Fox is on its way. We do just take the trade there because if they get two more and they get so far ahead, it's gonna be a bad time. We probably should have Lyled there. That would have been a cooler move. We were just excited to play Queen because she gives her and makes her a three lore quester. We just got too excited. We should have done Lyle and made the Maleficent reckless. But then they could have just bounced it with Mim. I don't know. They quest and then you bet that we see the Mim Fox here. Mounts it and then you know that they're going to take out our Queen. It's a trade that we're willing to accept. We get Chernabog who quests for three. And he only cost eight right now. 
We don't want to play Royal right now, so we're going to go ahead and play our Queen, which sucks that we're missing an ink. Should we do it? Should we just get Lyle out there? Nah. We'll quest for one that I'll give this one plus one more, and then we pass the turn. They don't have any rushers except for Mem Fox, so I think we're okay. They ink the Ursula. And play a Flynn Rider, the Rogue Outlaw, and a Merfolk. Tons of aggro on board. The most amount of aggro on board we've ever seen. So, Lyle comes out and gives Merfolk Reckless. And then, yeah, we go on a quest for one. And then this one can go on a quest for two. That's pretty cool. And then we pass the turn. Sadly, we missed another ink. One out of every three cards, uninkable. Crazy. There's the snake to bounce the merfolk. Then they play the merfolk. They quest for two with Maleficent and quest for another two with their Flynn Rider. We missed the ink again. Terrible news. We got to keep our uh, funny up, not our honey up. And then we pass the turn. The snake can take out our Lyle or our queen. We'll see what they choose. They choose the Lyle, which is okay. And they don't perish because Lyle only has two strength. They put out a Ursula, which is scary news for us. We get a Corella DeVille, or as I like to call her, Ink DeVille. And then we can play our Hades. Lyle's pretty metal. So we'll get Lyle. We would have to discard a card. Shift six. Weird choices, but we're doing it. And the question is if we go there. Which I think we got to We got to get rid of our big bad Hades. Too bad. So sad. It's a combo we should have gone for, but we didn't. We like that both of these can take out Ariel, but we're going to use Lyle to make her choose which one to take out. But she could do some massive stuff here. They'd sing Friends on the other side. That's worth four cards for them. Have you ever seen a card draw more cards? Then it goes to the bottom of their deck. They have six cards in hand. We got twosies. But our uh, Cherry Bog can be played for free next turn if they take out this uh, Queen. Coolio, so out comes Chernabog next turn. They ink at Ursula, good news. And then you already know the evildoer on board. We ink Radigan, keep our ink up. And then we can quest your boy and pass. We don't have the Wombo combos, but we got a huge 9 9 body on board. It's looking good for us. Especially when they do the thing where they keep taking out their own Mim Foxes and leaving no characters on board. They ink a fox? Great news! They play friends on the other side, which is weird that they didn't save it. But that's okay with us. We can shift the Hades next turn, and that's cool. We're just going to go ahead and give her Reckless, even though she's going to sing. That's okay with us. And then we're going to quest for lots. We're going to quest for three and then one. So that's four. And now she's Reckless, but she's going to sing. Her whole deal is that she's a singer. 
Her whole deal is that she stole Ariel's voice just to get with a land man with legs? I just look kind of OP. The boss is on a roll. They get to scry the top five, put as many as they want on the top or bottom of the deck. And then they get to do it a second time. So they could dig 10 cards into the deck and find what they want to get next turn. And then they also get to gain two lore to go to 11. So that's pretty cool of them. And then they play it again from the discard. That's Ari Ursula's second effect, is her effect, is you get to play the action again. She gains more, they're at 11, and then bosses on a roll goes to the bottom of their deck. They have an Ursula and a goat. We get the queen, but we gotta hit this shift, right? They would have to take out Queen of Hearts. Quest. Quest. What would you quest for? You quest for three if I put you out right now? I think we do it. What's the name of the game? You quest for three Zs. We go to 19 Zs and we pass the turn. They could do lots of stuff here. They could double sing bosses on a roll twice. That would give them four lore. That's 16, 18. They bounce their goat. Ba. They put down their goat. 15, 16, 17. They bibbity bobbity. Oh, dude, do they have it? Oh, <laughs> to play the goat. And then they uh, get to sing it again. From the discard. That's so sick. They're about to bibbity bobbity this goat. When it leaves, you gain a lore. And then they play it again for free. And they gain a lore that way. And then they quest for a one. They got the wombo combo and we didn't see it coming. If only we had the hindsight. Foresight? I don't know if there's anything we could do there. I guess we could have taken out the Ursula. Do they have them ready? That was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. One more with our big villains deck. We get paired against the Steel Ruby eBay user Drew Maki. We get to go first. Big news. We're looking for our queen. That one has to be damaged already, so we don't do that. Ursula's pretty nasty for that. That can be ink, but we want to find our one cost. Hey, there we go. Bummer. So many uninkables. Ursula's got to go. She's not likely to stick. And then we play our queen and pass the turn. This dude knows what's up. He's got the squirrel icon and we got the squirrel icon. eBay user Drew, you know what's up. There's the Baloo into the ink. Well, they're playing some crazy stuff. Seeing a Baloo in real life, a four, three. Wow, that's like a goat level. It's a three cost, wow. Do we look for a song or do we just shift? We have to ink and we got to shift. Do we do the thing? Nah, we just quest. We just get our two lore and call it good. We say we're chilling.
The ink, another blue. That's two blues in the ink. Incredible. And then they baboom our queen and they take it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. Helga, welcome to the inkwell. And we pass the turn. Why would it let me play that? I guess so it's out of your hand. Return chosen character to their player's hand. They have an Agrabah. Huge damage. All we can do is play that. We wish we had a the Hades. Two Agrabahs. Holy moly. And a Captain the Crook. We get a Lyle Tiberius Rourke, a.k.a. not Ink. So we just play him. Give Hook Reckless. Do we quest for two? If you already know we quest for two. Queen of Hearts isn't a shift character, is she? Only the red one is a shift. Yeah, this one's a uh, Greenborn. They take out our Lyle. But how? How did they... Did they Zeus them? That's okay. That happens. Happens to the best of us. Six. They gain four next turn. Guaranteed. Here's our Herc. And playing Queen of Hearts next turn. We could guarantee an ink. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I think we lose to these Agrabahs. Oh, we lose a Lord with Aladdin. This deck is mad. And a Nottingham on the board. What do we got? Ursula? More like Inkerla. Seven, and they gain. They gain five just off of locations. Did they just well played me, my guy? Gee, I wouldn't blame him. When she quests, we can one-shot Agrabah. This is tough. How much is his shift? His shift would be the whole thing. They go to 16, and if they get anything cool, we lose. There's the Baloo. Aladdin takes out your boy. Quest goes on a little hook spree. What are we doing? So we have seven that we can use. So they win no matter what now? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Dude, they got it. That went super fast. If we sing Mother's Knows Best, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Dude, that was crazy. He said, get out of here, Baloo. And we passed the turn. That was so cool. They just, that was mad aggro. And they win by attacking. Wow. One more with villains? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Finding a worthy opponent. 
It's a uh, Mufasa deck, kind of. It's a Amber Ruby. Could be anything. Could be Pirates again. Chernabog, go ahead and get out of here. Mother Gathel, we want to see you later. Alligator, she's a two drop. That's a two drop. Lyle hasn't been serving us well. That's our mulligan. We're keeping Queen and keeping Helga. The cards that we know and like. Ooh, a shift Helga. This guy's been messing us up. Fang's kind of cool for our four drop. Maybe. We'll go ahead and ink our rat and pass. See you later, rat. Maybe rat's good. Evasive. They ink the dragon. Lots of decks have dropped the dragon lately. Ooh, we get the Ursula Strike a good match. So, Queen, welcome to the inkwell. Please let me put you in the inkwell. Please let me put you into the inkwell. Yes! And then we will welcome the battlefield. Helga Sinclair. What's her shift? Three? Heck yeah. Is it only to chosen damaged? Yeah. Too bad. Oh, a sleepy. Can she take him out? 4 3. That could take him out. Mother Gathel, welcome to the inkwell. Do we just go ahead and take him out? Why not? What else are we doing? Playing the game? And we'll take out the sleepy. Because we don't want more dwarves on board. More dwarves on board is their synergy, and that's not okay with us. There's the pass button. Whoops. Do we have cards in discard? No cards in discard yet, so we wouldn't have any value with playing Hades. So make sure I don't fall for it. They play a Doc, Dockaroo. We get Lyle Tiberius Rourke, which means that he can quest if I do that. And that's okay with us. If he can't quest, it's kind of fine. He could take her out, but then they lose a lore. They have no lore to lose. So we pass the turn. All we did is make their dock not be able to quest. Their dock could sing, but it's not likely that they have song cards. They could not be our guest, but it's not likely. They ink the Maui. Good news. And their dock can't do anything. We'll play our Ursula. And do we just hold out again? Nah, we'll go on a quest. We're not going to damage chosen damage characters because she is the only damage chosen character. And that would mean that I'd have to knock her out. We could have inked there so we would have been at five and then we would have been closer to the shift line. But we want to be able to scry with Ursula and probably get rid of these. Because they're not the best, especially with no cards in the discard. But who knows? Doc could take out our Helga here. They shouldn't. I don't know. They have 16 to play with, which is definitely Mufasa territory. They ink Mother Gathel. That's okay with us. And they go on a little quest for two lore. Now they have six to play with. It is Lady Tremaine, which we get to choose and banish one of our characters. And it's going to be Helga. Right? Because then they lose a lore with Lyle. And that's pretty metal. And then we can also get her back with Hades. They're going to be like, what? I lost a lore. We strike a good match. Do we get rid of our queen or the rat? Or Helga? Because they're not damaged anywhere. We play it again. We get queen in the Fang City. And we'll get rid of queen. Doesn't look like they have any evasive things to deal with uh, the rat if we play it. Yeah, I don't think they'll be able to deal with that. 
And we kind of want to put two damage into it. So if it challenges her, it dies. But they're probably just going to quest with it. So we'll just quest with it too. Make them have a target. Weird choices. Probably should have played the queen. Because she can make stuff safe to challenge. I don't know. Oh, they take out our Ursula, but they lose a lore when they do that. Because of good old Lyle, and then they play Mother Gathel. Do they quest and play the Rapunzel to heal? Probably. They play a Tremaine. They shift Tremaine. So if I go here, they lose another lore, but they don't have another lore to lose. So we just get rid of uh, Lyle there. That's twice today that we've seen someone shift on top of a Tremaine. Crazy. Six, three, and three is six. Hypnotize, pretty cool. Hades. Return someone from discard. Rourke makes sense. The queen's pretty solid. We can quest for two to go to six. We could have taken out the dock, but then... I don't know if that's the value we wanted to get out of the rat. Huberclot. They play an evasive Goofy, which definitely has the smoke to take out Radigan, but also has the smoke to take out himself. We get an Ursula to song check. We could haze and do some big damage here. We could also discard a card and play Fang. Which might be what it do be like. Chernobyl's cool. She's pretty cool. Better than Fang. And we'll quest out. Hopefully we'll leave Hades alone. And hopefully they'll leave him alone too. Because we would love to shift Hades here. They quest. It gains them two. Let's them play something for seven. They quest their queen. Quest their Gathel. And quest their Goofy. We see a scar come to play. What does this do? Well, this character exerted. Opposing characters can't quest. That's pretty metal. Shift Hades. They have nine on board, and we need to make it less. How much can we quest for? Two. We would quest for one. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. We will quest for eight. We will go to 16 this turn. Which is a bummer that we didn't do that. But we got to do what we got to do. Radigan's got to take them out. I got to take out their dock. Their two lore quester. Take her out or her out. What's more threatening? Probably her. Inkathel. Kind of like Cathel. Now they quest for three next turn. But they'll probably take out our Hades. We would have gone to 18. It would have gotten us close. Wouldn't have gotten us there. They play it a Maui instead so they can get the two more off of us. Big brain plays. 
Probably should have just done my Wombo Combo to see it. Mother's Nova's Bast is okay with us. That means we get to bounce that back to their hand and play our Fang City. And pass the turn. They can take out Fang City in one shot, though, now. Should have been Ink. Ooh, they get to draw three cards, and it's over for us, fellas. I'm not going to lie. Thanks for watching the video. Much appreciated. Please hit the like and subscribe button. If you haven't, we'll see you later.